Hi, everyone. I am Qingyuan from Fudan University, Shanghai, China. Today, I will introduce our paper published in ACM Transactions on the Web in 2021. The title is Cross-Site Prediction on Social Influence for Code Start Users in Online Social Networks. This is a joint work with Yang Chen, Xin Lei He, and Xin Wang from Fudan University, Yu Xiao from Aalto University, Pan Hui from University of Helsinki and Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, also Xiao Ming Fu from University of Göttingen. We are very glad that this paper was selected by the journal track of the web conference 2022. From the launch of Facebook, online social networks are flourishing with various functions. People can build familiar social connections on Facebook or WeChat, receive instant information on Twitter, or look for a job on LinkedIn. Especially, the recent hot topic matters which appears to be the next generation of social networks, provides more immersive experience for people's social life. Nowadays, there are multiple OSNs providing various social services. Social hub websites such as About On Me aggregate users' social accounts and show the fact that people tend to have accounts on multiple OSNs at the same time. After Facebook and Twitter attracted millions of users to build friend social networks, the emerging OSNs such as Foursquare started to use the OAuth 2.0 protocol to help users log in with their Facebook or Twitter accounts. In this way, Emerging OSNs can attract more users, and we can access the Facebook or Twitter homepage of this user through her Foursquare profile. On social networks, information spreads very fast and with high efficiency. The content published by anyone can affect a very large scale of people. Social proof theory shows that people tend to follow the opinions or decisions pushed to the front of their eyes. Structural hope theory shows that the users that generate high social influence are not always the ones that have many followers. One type of behavior or one piece of information will generate larger effect if it's been seen or adopted by more people. We surveyed existing metrics of social influence in OSNs. Typical ones include the number of followers, labeling the higher-ranked users as influential user according to the number of their followers, page rank value of user nodes in the social network, takes the difference of users' followers into consideration. There's a point of view that the influence of one user should stress more on the effectiveness of their published content. So, there are two other metrics using the total number of the each index value of retweets or likes received by user-generated contents. In our work, we take the H index value of the retweets or likes received by UGCs to measure one user's social influence and the user's threshold to partition the high influential users and ordinary users. From the popular metrics of social influence, we can see that evaluating the influence of users on dominant OSNs where users have rich UGCs are much easier. But we notice that there are code start phase 
for OSN users, especially on emerging OSNs. We show the example of two Medium and Twitter accounts belonging to one same user. Regarding Medium as the emerging OSN and Twitter as the dominant OSN, the Medium homepage of this user only shows some basic profile information with almost no activities. By the cross-site linking function provided on Medium, we can reach the Twitter profile page of this user, which owns more followers and followings also very rich UGCs. Influential users could play their roles in the development of the emerging OSN. But how can we identify the potential influential users when they generate fewer activities? In this paper, we propose to use the behavior characteristics of users on dominant OSNs such as Facebook or Twitter to solve this problem. There is an intuitive query that whether users social influence on multiple OSNs are equivalent, so that the potential influential users on emerging OSNs can be decided by the influence they have generated on dominant OSNs. To explore this problem, we take more than 194,000 pairs of Medium and Twitter accounts, with each pair of accounts belonging to one same user. We take the total number and the H index value of likes received by the Medium UGC to rank the social influence on Medium respectively and take the number of retweets received by the Twitter UGC to rank the social influence on Twitter. The values of the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of the two scenarios are 0 0.231 and 0 0.232, meaning that users' social influence on Twitter and on Medium cannot be considered as equivalent, but are positively correlated at a weak level. We further compare the typical behavior indexes between medium influential and ordinary users on Twitter. From the three comparison figures, we see that medium influential users have more followers on Twitter and the original tweets published by medium influential users receive more likes and retweets. The statistical results reflect that the influential and ordinary users on medium are showing difference in their behaviors on Twitter. We propose to utilize the behavior characteristics on dominant OSNs to predict the potential influential users on emerging OSNs. We separate the data on the profile page of users on dominant OSNs as descriptive features and dynamic features, corresponding to the static information including the account profile and summary of activities, and the dynamic information of the fine-grained activity sequences. Aggregating the feature subsets, we utilize a decision maker to predict whether this user will become an influential user on emerging OSNs. In our work, we take Twitter as the dominant OSN and Medium as the emerging OSN. In our system design, we take the labels of whether one user is an influential user on Medium and their UGCs on Twitter as the input. To deal with the sequential tweet publishing behavior and model the influence of each published tweet, we introduce the LSTM network to process tweet sequence and produce the corresponding feature subset. Other four feature subsets 
are extracted from the Twitter account information. A final decision maker will aggregate the five feature subsets and make the final decision. We evaluate the performance of our cross-site influential user prediction design on two constructed datasets. Labeling influential users with two social influence metrics, the total number and the H index value of likes received by UGCs on Medium. We use AUC as the performance metric and obtained satisfying results, showing that using the public data on Twitter, we can predict the influential users on Medium. In conclusion, our work shows that the social influence of users on multiple OSNs are correlated. For the code start users on emerging OSNs, our proposed design can predict whether they will become influential users using their rich UGCs on dominant OSNs. The solution to this problem also implies that users' properties on social networks can be predicted by their historical behaviors. For future work, we will first investigate more emerging OSNs for the cross-set user behavior research. Although Medium is a representative emerging OSN, it still provides functions similar to Twitter. We will further examine the prediction performance of our system on different types of emerging OSNs, such as food sharing or tourism guiding. Second, we will explore different factors that drive a code start user to become an influential user on emerging OSNs. Third, we wish to study different types of user classification problems from the perspective of cross-set user behavior analysis, such as malicious user detection. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening. I'm happy to take questions. You can also contact me by sending email. Thank you very much.